I'm Steve Kelbley, and I'm here at Community Health Network's first e-cycling event. We're in the parking lot at Community Hospital North, along with some partners. The Go Green Committee has organized this event to allow people to bring their old electronics and anything with a cord and find a new home for it. We've had people come in with just a single cell phone, uh, all the way up to uh, an SUV that is jam-packed with equipment. And as they come up, staff will go up and, and unload their car. We do an initial assessment. Uh, if it's computer equipment, it goes on the truck behind me. Um, and uh, essentially that's the um, equipment that, that can be recycled. If there's some things that are questionable, they'll go over to a table and kind of look at, uh, and then they'll, they'll go on, uh, possibly go on, on the truck or go on the 1-800-GOT-JUNK uh, truck, depending on if it's re recyclable, reusable. I'm John Crooks. I'm the founder of the Virtual Scavenger Project. We've been in business for about 10 years. We collect electronic waste to keep it out of landfills, to keep it in use, and to uh, uh, provide people with training on, on how to, to use computers. And tell us a little bit about uh, why they should not go into landfills. Mercury, cadmium, hexavalent chromium, lead. Uh, there's a lot of heavy metals in these computers, and uh, we uh, put them in a landfill today, and then 30 years from now, they've sunk into the water supply, and your grandchildren are brushing their teeth with that stuff. Uh, my name's Randy Wilden. I'm with 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Uh, and what we do and how we play into this event here today is uh, we typically go out to people's houses, homes, uh, businesses, and, and take away the stuff that they don't want, uh, don't need anymore. And, uh, and a lot of what we take away is uh, recycled. And so uh, that's where we fit in today is uh, we're, we're uh, you know, we're used to doing the recycling, and, but we also take away junk. And so a lot of the stuff that will be coming to us today uh, may be stuff that can't be recycled. And so we'll load it in the back of our junk truck and, and dispose of that in the proper way. This is the network's first e-cycling event. What happens after this? Well, plans are uh, for next year, and, and as most of these are outside events, so we're closing in on weather. But our plans for next year, uh, I'd like to have an event at east, north, and south. We've seen a steady stream of traffic so far this morning at the e-cycling event at Community North. We've filled up one truck and starting on the second truck. For Community Health Network, I'm Steve Kelbley.